build true confidence to the student creed, number one. Knowledge in the mind. Number two. Understanding the mind. Number three. Five tenets. Take one build, number one.
Now your left foot goes in and out, high lunge. Step forward, high lunge. Spin and chop. Bring your foot in, chop to the other side. Put. Same corner again. Right foot in, sorry, left foot in front, right hand. Bring your foot in, high lunge. Step forward, high lunge. Spin and chop. Bring your foot in, chop to the other side. Put. And again. Ready? Position elbow from the very beginning. If you get it right, we'll go on to purple. Ready? Position. Begin. Put.
Red Dog Ball. Starting position. Ready? Kick it. Hard as you can. Hit it. Hit it. 
right foot, put your right foot back, your hands are up. Okay, three deep front kick, black punch kick, black punch kick. Ready? No idea how to get hard, it's just going to be your kick. And
once we do the groundwork, what we do is you see that white steel frame down there? We put that against the, the wall. And then we put all of them in here. And then you break all of them with one kick. Now, the way you're kicking today, right now, you can do that. The problem is you have a habit of sometimes kicking hard, sometimes kicking soft. Sometimes you do your best, sometimes you go through the motions. And the reason why that's a problem is because the moment you need to throw your best kick, it might not be there. Because you've also trained your body to kick lazy sometimes. Does that make sense? So what habit do we have to build? Be consistent. Be consistent being lazy or be consistent doing our best. And doing our best. And talking to your dad the other day, it's not just what you're doing here. It seems like you're doing that in other things. Where you have a lot of talent and abilities. And because of that, sometimes you don't try your hardest. Because you don't have to. But that's a bad habit to get into. Because there's times when you have to have your very best ready to go. But it's not going to be there unless you always practice that. Does that make sense? Okay. Put you back in the spot right here in the sun. Take both hands, hands behind your back. Now, with your forms today, we had too many problems with those forms. So, I'm going to set up a timer. I'm going to check with your dad and your mom and see whether it's two weeks or three weeks. But I'm going to set a Friday or a Saturday. And you're going to come in and do what you did today. We're going to do it again. But, if it doesn't look like it's brown black material when you do it, I'm going to take this belt back. And I'm going to give you back your red black belt again. So you've got two to three weeks to make sure you're practicing as hard as you can. Does that make sense? Does that sound like a fair deal? Okay, it's a deal. All right, attention. Wow. All right, go ahead and take off your whole belt. 